purpose was to give man the moral and ethical indoctrination by which he became capable of discriminating value by means of which he could finally say with Omar uh, referring to the mysterious dances of the dervishes Omar says from my base metal shall be filed the key that shall unlock the door they howl without and that is the problem the purpose of these systems of religion extended from the mystery systems is to proceed to the regeneration of man within certain limits the gradual restoration of the good word the good deed and the good thought the gradual beginning of the purification of the individual by which through the cultivation of the upright life through the actual practice of self-control and self-discipline through the application of proper principles to every action of conduct the individual gradually gains the first thing that he needs namely the power to govern himself the power to dedicate himself the power to place value above profit in everything the power to choose self-sacrifice before the proclamation of truth the power gradually to make the recognition of the value of reality strong enough to impel the person to go forward to the attainment of that which he has discovered it is not from hope of heaven or from fear of hell that man must develop virtue he must develop it because without it he cannot sufficiently regenerate his own organism so that he is capable of the great mystery ritual of truth seeking Pike therefore points out that having passed through a certain tempering in the lesser fires the spirit is strengthened the resolution is strengthened the individual gains gradual control of the mind and the emotions in the body until finally through self-discipline he is capable of attaining that internal integration which is peace which is security in the true sense of the word and that as one in peace with all things including himself at in total peace with the world and with life and with reality the individual thus completely at peace may pass through into the mysterious room beyond to find himself in the mysterious sanctuary of the ancient ones of the earth he will then realize that he indeed has walked the path that all those were truth seeking wise and good before him have also walked that he is walking the path of light that he is therefore entering into the true religion that he is seeking the everlasting fire and is finding it and is satisfied to become the servant of that flame and in so doing he attains not to knowledge in the common sense he attains rather to identity with primordial knowing he participates in the fact of truth as did ancient man before ignorance sin and death came into his world and because man has overcome ignorance sin and death in himself he then becomes also one of those ancient ones who is timeless who belongs to the order of the mediators and becomes truly educated truly enlightened truly wise this is the only wisdom there is there is no other and all the search for worldly wisdom leads in the end 
either to total disillusionment or else total dedication to that which is true. This was his, this was General Pike's central concept, and it seems to me that it is a valuable one, and I think for those of you who belong to the Masonic Order, it will have certain also special meanings. And so we thank you very much and hope.